So three birds. Let's um. Figuring out how to activate your muscles that way. Will you lay down here next to yeah. Alexis? You can base cam and see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do be really mindful of not stepping in here. Okay. okay. So feet first, right? Hands. Her hands are down. Yeah. I can touch her feet. That's key. The distance won't work here. This is way in her business. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right here. Feet placement. Half your flyer. Yo, tuck your shirt in. Make it easy for you. Okay. Where the pant meets the shirt normally, because the the pants will always stay hooked right around the hip bones. So it's an easy thing just to tuck this in. You know the hip bone is right where the shirt meets the pants. Put the ball of your foot right there, or the middle of your foot. Depending on your flyer, if your flyer is really torso heavy, you want to go a little higher. But generally, say the ball of the feet is good there. There. And then sometimes people go a little too far. I would recommend going a little in, a little more. So even the hip bone, maybe inside the hip bone, just, just a smidge. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come in. You meet me halfway. Don't meet me all the way here, okay? Meet me halfway and push right up. Be mindful of the ball coming right over. See, like this? What? That's a really natural thing to happen, right? So what you want to do as the base is you want to keep that support open. So a natural thing, I threw it out on Alexis on purpose. You see, it's such a natural reaction you want to hold on because mm -hmm. you feel like you're keeping your flyers safe by holding on, mm -hmm. you know, because you're supporting them. But but she kept enough of a loose grip to where I could break that grip and brace myself. These are the tools for a flyer to be safe. Okay? One key, distance, two key, placement, placement, placement. Right in the middle of the shirt. There. Mm -hmm. Catch and meet him halfway, push up. This bird going here. Once you get this nice bird going, you'll use your toes, flex, press them up. The more you flex up, you'll feel it really light in the hands. Like, I don't feel anything in the hands anymore. You can just push them up slowly, okay? You don't have to take the whole hands out at the same time. Just keep it there. And once you push up enough to where it's light, lighter and lighter, you'll feel it like it won't even touch anymore. Just do this. Keep the hands up. So you know if I start falling towards you, you still have that support. Mm -hmm. Then slowly, gently, the flyer can... can Keep the core nice and tight. Lift up. You go where you look. If you're looking down, your weight's down this way. Look up. Look up. You go up. Shoulders back. And as they slowly bring your shoulders back, you can keep that balance. Keep the toes up. And back this way. And that's not the only balance. She's done this a while. She knows that there's a little midline going back and forth. And you want, you'll start feeling that coming back. Just try and engage your adductors and bring them back. The worst fall is you coming sideways. This way, your flyer needs to bring the feet down first. And she's keeping my torso up. I keep her hands up so my torso is above my hips. And my feet come down, it'll be a safer fall than coming over this way. Come over. Thank you. Mm -hmm. so let's have you fly, Alexis.